Yeah, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and thanks to, um, to our Oculus Booth Talks concerning our um, product, the Cartograph. Cartograph is in the last year a um, comprehensive screening tool for the dry eye disease. And um, from its basic principle, it was a, or it is, of this basic placebo topographer. But over the last years, we um, developed it to a um, dry eye screening machine. Uh, and first of all, I want to give you some insights about the dry eye disease itself. So, uh, worldwide, we have a um, prevalence of the dry eye disease about uh, 15 to 17 percent of the global population. And below of that, I want to give you some risk factors for the dry eye. So, one major point for the dry eye disease is the uh, MGD. It's the meibomian glands dysfunction, which uh, leads to 86% uh, of the evaporative dry eye. Another risk factors are uh, the age and uh, the sex. Female has a higher risk than male. Also, the race play a role in the dry eye disease. Extensive contact lens wearing can be one reason to um, developing a dry eye disease. And for sure, our living conditions or habits in our industrial uh, countries, like uh, using intensive, uh, in an intensive way, smartphones or tablets. And also, the visual display terminal users have a higher um, risk to develop a dry eye disease. So in uh, nowadays, what's important to um, do a good dry eye diagnose and dry eye treatment? So on the doctor side, we need uh, objective testing tools. And um, another point in the dry eye disease um, diagnosing is to reduce the chair time because dry eye is a multifactorial disease and it can have many reasons which can lead to a dry eye or many symptoms. So we need a good testing to reduce the chair time. The readings which we will get uh, should be redu reducible. And also for the technicians who are most, uh, most of the time doing the capturing and um, examination process, the tests have easy of use and for the patient or for the results they should less invasive. Uh, over the time we should see a return on investment on our machine and uh, in the best case we um, get a higher reputation for our dry eye clinic. And one major stone for the um, for success in the dry eye therapy is that we have or that we can enhance the compliance for our patients during the education. On the patient side, the tests should be uh, quite comfortable, and um, the the patients also want to have the correct diagnose and they want to see a value for their money. And all this is possible with the Cartograph 5N. So now I want to go a little bit into detail about the Genvis Pro Dry Eye Screening Report. The Genvis Pro Dry Eye Screening Report includes um, three um, dry eye screening workups. And um, the first screening is the, the fast screening and it includes um, dry eye questionnaires and you can choose between the dry eye questionnaires between the McMoney's, the OSDI and the Genvis dry eye questionnaire to get an idea of the symptoms uh, of, the, of your dry eye patients. Then we look after the tear film quality on the tear film quantity with the tear minister's height measurement and the Nick blood test and we look after the inflammation with a, with a retina scan test. Um, for the time, for the chair time, so the complete um, screening procedure lasts less than six minutes for both eyes. If you say, okay, it's a, less, it's a little bit too long, you can reduce the six minutes by just checking one eye, and then you need just uh, for sure three minutes. So one of our take home message, messages is that you have to screen every patient who comes into your clinic. So now I want to go with you a little bit into detail 
into the Genvis Pro individualized report. So here we are in the um, capture session. You see on the side the, the live image and here you see a little bit a hint for the um, technician. Here we have some uh, thumbnail images um, to focus on the area where, which is part of the interest. And uh, below of that we have a um, capture advice, which gives the technician the information where the patient has to look and where the technician has to keep the focus of the camera. Second um, examination is the tear from breakup time without fluorescein. So the technician just has to align the device to the patient's eye, then advise him please blink twice and then the software automatically starts the measurement or the examination of the tear from breakup time. Another new point is that the software automatically guides you where you have to take the next measurement. For example, um, you begin with a tear minus beside on the right side, then go over to the left, left side, but for the nick you stay on the left side um, and do the nick first on the um, left side, then go to the tear from dynamic, dynamic video on the left side, stay on the left side for the lipid layer, and then just go on the right side to the nick -butt. This has the advantage that you don't move the carograph um, uh, all the time before the patient's eyes or head. Next um, test is the tear film debris or tear film dynamic. Uh, with this test, you look in the uh, you look out at the tear film if there are many particles, many debris in the tear film. If you see the movement of the particles very slow, you know the tear film is, has a high viscosity. If the movement of the particles is quite fast, you know okay, it has a watery tear film component. Looking at the lipid layer um, to see um, also if you have an oily tear film. The oily tear film component can be um, can be seen at the interference colors of the tear film. And um, for this you have to focus on the rings and then pull the device a little bit back to use that you are that you know you are focused on the tear film exactly. And again, everything which I um, told you now is also here described for the technician who has to do the, um, the whole examination process. Retina scan is also very easy to perform. You just capture an image where the, the thin red vessels of the sclera are um, quite sharp and then the software automatically um, calculates or detects the, the ratio between the thin red vessels and the white background of the sclera. Then we look at the lid margin and the lashes. Um, the aim of this is you have to look at the, if you have some scalloping or notching at the lid margin. You want uh, you can see some saponification um, for on the lid margin or some yeah some kind of uh, redness or blepharitis. You can do this also for the superior lashes or lid margin and um, take this uh, later into your diagnose or assessment process. And then you want to go um, a little bit deeper to see what's, what's the reason um, behind this uh, blepharitis. Do we have something to do with the uh, mybography, with the mybomian glands? For this you can perform mybography of the upper lid and the lower lid. Here I just show you the upper lid. And um, during a general grading scale, you can assess how many glands has a are drop out or how many of these area um, is still there of the mybomian glands. Um, another component, as I told you in, during the screening, um, is the um, questionnaire concerning the symptoms for the dry eye patient. Um, if you have done the screening, you can import the, the results of the screening uh, of the dry eye questionnaire, but you don't have to do it again. 
Okay. And if you have finished your capturing sessions, then you go into the assessment uh, step. So here you have all your captured um, images or videos. And then you have just to click one button, that's the button collective view and assessment. And then you have all um, useful images and videos um, popped up at one screen that you can do a very quick assessment of the, of the um, dry disease. To get a very good um, diagnosis about the dry eye disease, we have separated the, um, the readings and findings in two, four subcategories. So the first is the tear film, which contains tear meniscus height, nick butt, tear film dynamic and interferometry. The second part is the lid and the lid margin and the lashes. And the third is the conjunctiva and cornea, where we look mainly at the conjunctival and the corneal staining and the redness. And the fourth part is the, the subjective symptoms, which will record it in the dry eye questionnaire. And if you have done all your assessment with these subcategories, then we come into the part of the recommendation. So if you um, are finished with every category, uh, the recommendation field pops up and you can um, easily um, just cl by clicking activate your um, treatments or your, um, your advices for your treatments for the dry disease of your patient. For example, if you have, a, if you have a moderate state of uh, the lid and the lid margin, for example, um, um, to use warm compresses and how they, uh, your patient has to use it, it's all written there under the recommendations for the, for the dry eye therapy. If you say, okay, maybe um, the predefined workup for the dry eye report, it's a little bit too long for me. Or for example, I want to have instead of um, fluorescein staining, I want to see the staining with lysamine green. That's no problem. You just can go into the customization edit editor and then you can define your own dry eye workup. You have two um, you have two columns. On the um, left side, there are the there are listed all the assessment items, and on the right side, we have all the capture items. Um, you first have to make sure which one to you to assess, and for this, you just can um, hover over the respective assessment items, and then you see if you are over the respective assessment items. For example, uh, the lashes. Then you see which capture items um, are useful or are needful to can make to get the respective picture or the video so you have to activate always both on the one side the assessment item and on the le uh, left uh, right side the uh, capture items then you can save it name it in your own, your own dry eye workup name and then you can save it and then you have your own dry eye workup also you can what you can individualize is the are the recommendations for sure you can um, add um, if you don't find your preferred recommendations or treatment options you can add it that's possible you can also um, if you want to have some treatment options you can delete it and you can select uh, when they should um, predefined pop up for example if you have a very severe um, readings or result of your dry eye assessment and you set these uh, uh, checkboxes here then always these treatment options pops up automatically so here you define that's my moderate you just click on my moderate and then these will always um, pre-select it automatically yeah if you have done all your treatment um, recommendations your assessment um, then it's a question what can you give to your patients uh, back to home then you have a comprehensive try eye um, screening printout where you have where your pa uh, your patients can see their eyes again and the final results with a with a generous dry eye report hexagram 
Below of that you have the single every single readings of every test. Below of that you have your recommendations uh, which you have given to your patients. And below of that you see every test which you have performed with your patients is explained in easy words so that, the, that your patients can understand what was done with me during the consultation with my, with my doctor. And then they see the value for their money which they have to pay for the consultation time and also for the treatment options. Because one uh, major stone for the dry eye, uh, for the success in the dry eye therapy is that the patient has good compliance. Because they have to use it every morning, every evening, for example, to clean their lid margins, to clean their lashes or to use the drops to use the heat masks. Okay, so far any questions? Okay, then I just have to say, muito obrigado.